Hey there, this is Christine. Thanks so much for tuning into my Mostly Keto Kitchen today. So today, what I would like to do is talk about ketosis. And I kind of want to contrast it with keto diet. It's such, you know, it's like such a buzzword these days. Every magazine seems to talk about keto diet. And there's a lot of backlash against it because everybody's so sick and tired of one more fad diet. And so it gets a bad rap. But the science behind ketosis is so super solid. It's really important that we know about it. It's been given short shrift in our biochemistry classes. I know this because I taught biochemistry for 15 years. Textbooks do not adequately explain what ketosis is and why it's beneficial for us. So um, what I want to do is talk a little bit about the biochemistry of it without too many molecules here. But basic idea is that if you have fat cells, and we all do, right? I mean, I put it on and on my belly, so I've got some fat cells here. Those fat cells are filled with triglycerides, and that's this little E-shaped structure that I drew here. Triglycerides are the way that we store calories. So whenever we've eaten too much, then everything gets stored away as fat. So um, the long chain parts, that gets turned into ketone bodies. And it's kind of weird to say bodies, but there's just basically three different ketone molecules. And a ketone is, here's the structure here, it's a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. And you don't really see the carbon sitting there, but there's one at the bottom of that. So that's why they're called ketone bodies is because like this one here, this is acetoacetate. It's got two of those ketone bodies, or sorry, two ketone functional groups. So that's ketone bodies, but you'll see the other side of it over there I show in purple, that's the glycerol backbone getting converted into glucose. So the fat in your fat cells does two things. It makes ketones and it makes glucose. And so it's nice because that means you're getting both of those. And some parts, some cells, particularly in your brain, need glucose. And that's why it's so important. Our bodies always make, are able to make glucose. Our livers can do gluconeogenesis and make glucose. So what will end up happening if you get to a point where you are not going in storage mode all the time, if you stop eating so many carbs, your insulin goes down, you start allowing your triglycerides to come out of the fat stores and get broken down, okay? And that's either gonna happen through low carb or just fasting, okay? If you stop eating all the time, your body's gonna start using the storage that you've got on your body. And that's what it's there for, right? I mean, that's like the super, of course, that's what the fat's there for. We are storing fat because that's how we survived through evolution was that we were able to store fat through the hard times. So the trick is those of us that have too much fat on us, we need to give our bodies a chance to let that fat come out or the triglycerides come out of the fat stores and then get used. So in, I have a blood vessel down here. So this is kind of like we're looking inside the blood vessel. We've got both We've got a couple different types of ketone bodies. Those are in green. And then we've got the glucose. So why wouldn't you want to have this valuable second source of fuel? I mean, why, why wouldn't you want it, right? You, your many organs in your body, your heart, your brain, many parts of your body can use those ketones. And it's a fuel source that you've got available from using your own fat. So it's, it's really like a no-duh. We should all have ketones in our blood. Like, we're healthy if we do that. One of the problems is we can break down that insulin glucose system. That gets broken down after a while if it gets overused. And of course, it doesn't happen in everybody, but there are a lot of us in which it breaks down. That's what prediabetes and diabetes are about. It's when that system breaks down. So the way you combat that is by having some ketones in your body. And again, where do they come from? They come from the triglycerides, but only if you let your insulin get low enough. So you either need to go on a low carb diet or do some fasting and let your body have a chance to pull those triglycerides out of storage. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in.